first and foremost, know that the redesigned interior of the Acura MDX 2022 is a huge improvement over the previous model. A nice SUV aesthetic for Honda and that dual-screen infotainment setup is definitely 2014's year. Not so with the new MDX, which brings a distinctly modern feel with more technology than the previous Acura. But the MDX has outdone itself it's no surprise the real question is whether its cabin rivals other luxury three-row SUVs. Doing it short answer. Even in the highest range advance models driven, open the tailgate of the powered truck to find a cargo area of 16.3 cubic feet, slightly larger than the one on the previous MDX. There is also a wide underfloor storage area with a removable and foldable cover. On one side the cover is carpeted, on the other hand, it's hard plastic so dirty cargo doesn't get on the upholstery. Other conveniences include a small attachable bag clasp, a 12-volt outlet, and a one-touch cover and lock button. Cargo capacity increased to 39.1 and 71.4 cubic feet respectively behind the second and first rows. This MDX may be new, but the seats still fold in the old-fashioned way, manual and individual. While some three-row competitors offer powered rear seats, the MDX relies on levers and buttons. Tried and true it's possible, but there are times when hitting the switch and letting the motor do the work will be a boon that MDX can't afford. The rear seats are less restrictive than before, with headroom increasing by 0.6 inches to 36.2 inches and legroom by 2.4 inches to 29.0 inches. Those dimensions are still best for children, but adults can fit in a pinch, especially if the second row passenger is generous enough to shift the seat forward. However, the third row seats feel flat and cramped, limited folding ability and rear structure of the vehicle. At least accessing the third row is simple just press the button next to the second row seats to fold and slide them forward. The resulting gap is large enough for anyone comfortable back there to climb. Rear passengers can also eject with a button on the back of the second row seats or a nylon pull underneath. Third row riders don't get any more than standard trim or amenities. In addition to the cup holders, there are floor mounted air vents and ear level speakers. Only the advanced trim has a rear USB port on the others, passengers need a cable long enough to reach the second row. Stepping up, the second row seats have 38.1 inches of headroom and 38.5 inches of legroom, measuring a tenth of an inch from the previous MDX. Like those behind them, the middle seat has minimal support, a trade-off for its flat folding capability. But the sense of openness is helped by a large panoramic moonroof and door windows, the latter of which has retractable blinds on all trim levels above the base. New to the MDX's second row are the multifunctional center seats. Place it upright so someone can sit, fold it for an armrest with a cup holder, or remove it entirely. Removing it is easy, and it provides another third-line access method. But that leaves the unsightly mounting bracket open, contrary to MDX's fancy goals. Second-line amenities include two USB-A ports, a 12-volt outlet and an automatic temperature control. Trim Advance adds an AC plug and outboard seat heater. These are all great to own but no different from what's available in three-row SUVs across the spectrum. Add in a lot of hardware, and the second line of MDX feels more functional than upscale. The captain's seat arrangement as offered previously will make it feel more like a true luxury SUV. In contrast to the slightly lackluster rear seats, the front row of the MDX is quite sweet. 
The seats are excellent. They are well supported, comfortably padded, and power adjustable in no less than 12 directions. While the 38.5-inch headroom and 41.6-inch legroom increase by less than half an inch compared to the previous MDX, the steering column is tilted and the telescope is 50% more to help short or tall people find an ergonomic driving position. Three-level seat heating is standard, with seat ventilation and automatic climate control added on the A-Spec and Advance models. The steering wheel, smaller in diameter and with thicker rims than before, feels great especially when heated, an exclusive advantage for the MDX Advance trim. The new MDX dashboard looks sharp. It is fashionable and unique, with high-quality wood, metal and leather sewn everywhere. While there are a lot of buttons on the dashboard and steering wheel, the layout is logical and ergonomic. Acura's signature push-button gear selector quickly became a habit. A particularly pleasing addition is the ambient lighting on all trim levels above the plinth, which has 27 color themes named after famous roads and locations. There are other nice little touches to see how the arrows light up with each press of the temperature switch, or hear the unique chime when switching between driving modes. Some oddities remain. The Popnup USB port is invisible when not in use but isn't that what it's good for? There seems to be room for somewhere else on the dashboard, outside of enclosures that can pull debris between the seams. On the center console armrest, the padded lining covers only the top, leaving the screws exposed underneath. Behind it, a lot of space is devoted to the wireless charging pad. It's a waste for those who have a case on their phone or don't mind plugging it in. If only the trash can under the armrest wasn't made so small for it. Half-sized, cheap paddle shifters and a very noisy side window motor are other not-so-luxurious drawbacks. Between the 12.3-inch gauge cluster and the infotainment display both are standard across the MDX lineup embellished with real feed of digital real estate. However, Acura's true touchpad infotainment interface, which relies on a trackpad instead of a touchscreen, still needs improvement. Like in other Acura, it requires finesse, patience, and too much focus from the road. That the entire right third of the screen is devoted to redundant basic information, all controlled by its own smaller trackpad, seems to be a sub-optimal design. At least Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto work consistently, and the Advance Model's 16-speaker L Studio 3D audio system sounds fantastic.